Hey guys, it's me Anampai. I'm back with the video. So today we will be doing something really different. Uh, today we will be doing a small review on the new Logitech MX331 Silent as you can see here. So the reason why I am doing this is not because just to review this mouse. Uh, I had to buy a mouse after so long. Uh, I had a mouse with me which was a really old Logitech mouse. The one you get free when you buy the keyboard of Logitech, right? Which is a really old one. Which was the superb mouse I have ever used in my life because I think it, I have used it for like 3 plus years. I don't even remember. It was really good for a beginner. But I thought like I think I should level up the mouse. Also the mouse was showing some loose connections and all as it was a wired mouse. The old Logitech one. So let's straight jump into the video right. Starting the review with an appearance, yes, this has a really good look and the shape is also really good. It's ergonomics, so that's why you can see a weird shape at the place of uh, where we keep our thumb and all. It's to support our hands and as you saw there is a button behind which is an on off switch. Then yes, this is the nano receiver. This is a feature, you can just plug and play. So this I found really good because you don't have to select anything uh, as this mouse doesn't have Bluetooth. Uh, this uses the nano receiver here. You can see the uh, switch. We have to turn on and off if we need You can get a good light indicator uh, Which can really increase your battery life if you turn it off when you don't need it also supports ID idle because if you don't use it for a while It will turn off it uh, itself. The mouse is really small I don't know if you can find it from the video, but compared to the Logitech mouse This is really really small. So I found it really difficult to uh, manage the mouse at the beginning because I'm used to a bigger mouse right so uh, the shift will be a, will a bit difficult but I think by time I will get used to this the size of the mouse can be a real issue if you have a really bigger hands than me coming to the scrolling and all it's really smooth I don't know how to explain uh, compared to the mouse I have been using it's really good it scrolls really well and it stops when you stop uh, the major reason why I'm doing the review is because this is a cheap mouse. I'm not comparing this with some really huge mouse which is like 5000 INR. Uh, this comes at a rate of 1100. I said this is a gateway mouse to ergonomics and all. Now we are going to test the silent feature of this mouse. For this I will be comparing this mouse with my Logitech one which is a wired mouse. As I mentioned earlier it's a really old one. So this should really stand out right. So let's check the silent nature of the mouse. Wait, I know some of you will be really confused if I am really clicking or not. Yes, I am clicking as much hard as I can, but it's not at all making any sound. As we saw every physical aspect of the mouse, now let's see how much customizable this mouse is, how much programmable this mouse is, which is one of the major aspect which can help me improve my productivity in coding and everything, right? So Logitech provides an optional software which can help you customize a lot of things. Here you can read the pointer speed, left and right swap and everything, but the major thing is not there. The major thing comes in the gesture button. One of the doubts I had while buying the mouse is because it doesn't have any functional key. Like some of the big mouses which have two, three keys on left and right side which you can customize a lot. But this mouse has only one customizable key and it's the middle button. This middle button itself is the most powerful thing in the mouse and I really like this feature. Because you can assign the middle button to any of these things you can see here which itself is a wide variety of lists. You can launch apps, do app navigations, go to settings. You can even assign the middle button as the left button. 
so in case you wake up one day and see the left button is not working you can just assign the middle button as the left button and use it till you buy a new one right so that's a great feature so there are a lot of things you here you can see mute uh, volume control and it, it just goes on so the so popular ones are on the right here if i use the which one here i am using the media control option uh, to just show now let's see how the media control one works right so yeah let's go to youtube and see a video the video i am showing is a part of one of my favorite machine learning series which we will talk about some details so yeah let's uh, just see right how it's working here i am clicking the middle button and moving the mouse upward and downward so you can see the volume is changing which is a really good option right now now coming to the other options you can try app navigation which is you have to click the middle button and move the mouse left and right uh, which is similar to the trackpad option but it's a really great thing right to have in a mouse coming to the custom this is the powerful thing in this mouse and i am in i am in love with this thing to be honest because i have set it something like here you can see the middle button acts as the middle button um, when you click the middle button you can scroll up and scroll down fastly then what i did is i assigned copy and paste like you have to click the middle button and go up to copy middle button and down to paste so let's see how that's happening right so let's try it out so this is basic flask application i have been working on so i want to copy the login function so i just select it and i am not sure if you are following with the video but what i am doing is i am just pressing the middle button and just moving a bit ahead and then coming to my code and then doing the opposite which is click the middle button and just drag the mouse a bit down it's pasted so we can do multiple things according to your creativity and your uh, convenience you can set the customization as you want so not just that here uh, i'm trying out the app navigation and all even the scrolling works very well in the mouse so we have reviewed every aspect of this mouse the comfort the durability um the customization available and how good it is moving and all right so i have listed the pros and cons here you can take an ultimate decision whether or not to buy i would say it's good to use the mouse you have even if it's a wired one uh, the reason why i chose a wireless mouse is because uh, when i go to hostel or in some congested areas i won't get the leverage of using lot of space right like i won't be able to connect multiple wires one of the charging cable is there so along with that mouse will be there now if i need a keyboard so everything will create a mess so it's good to be compact uh, be simplistic so i thought a wireless mouse can help me there and not just that as as we saw the customizations are really awesome so that's why i bought this also this is ergonomic as i mentioned earlier so i hope in long terms this can save me a lot lot uh, in terms of health and all So yeah this is a gateway mouse so this is not the best mouse out there there are better one especially the Logitech MX Master series which is just epic but it's really costly even this is a bit expensive but i thought this as a long term investment right so i hope you enjoyed the video uh, share your thoughts on the mouse if you have bought this and post questions if you have something some doubts regarding this mouse whether or not to buy or some specifications and all so see you in the next video bye